I'm going to video Michelle you. Dawson. Um, I'm going to be speaking about a leadership priority, STEAM education, and really thinking about how we're preparing our students for the jobs of the future. Um, I am the Senior Director of Technology and Innovation for Compton Unified. Yes, straight into Compton. Um, shout out from Dr. Dre to Compton at the Grammys, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, but I do come from a, a background of technology. I've been doing this about 25 years. I was a teacher, then I was working um, in San, Santa Ana down here, then I went up to the Bay Area. I was a director of, of educational technology for San Francisco Unified, uh, for Napa County Office of Ed. You pick up your sound, so hold that. Don't okay. Yeah. And um, also, I was uh, working as a director of technology for Millbrae and Jefferson Elementary District. So I've been around the Bay Area, came to Compton about eight years ago with an amazing superintendent who had a vision of bringing equity and STEAM to every student. So many of you guys may have a perception of what Compton is. We have about 23,000 students. We have about 85% Latino, 34% EL learners. Um, we have 36 stu uh, schools and a graduation rate of 92%. Uh, percent. We have 96 free and, produce, free and reduced lunch. But we have done a lot under the leadership of Dr. Darren Brawley. He has been there, this is his 12th year. That's unheard of for a superintendent. So we are, we have, uh, we're part of the League of Innovative Schools. Anybody part of that? Digital Promise, League of Innovative Schools. We have, uh, nine of the top public schools in uh, LA. Uh, we have two national blue ribbon schools. We've won the CSBA Rise Award. We have two Apple, uh, Apple Distinguished Schools and two Apple Teachers of the Year, as well as we have our Compton Early College, and that is ranked number 32 in the state of California and 280th in the whole United States. So we are rocking and rolling in Compton. So we really built um, a, a vision around STEAM education and equity um, around technology for our schools and our district. Um, many of you guys may be aware that there's a new STEAM initiative federally launched in December of 2022 that is really uh, focused on providing high quality STEAM and STEM education um, throughout the country, especially for those students who come from um, a, a background of underprivileged, social, low socioeconomics. So when we think about leadership priorities, we really have to think and focus on equity and access, investment in resources and in infrastructure, ongoing professional development and promoting business partnerships. Um, why? Well, if you guys don't know this, STEAM and STEM jobs are really the highest growing and, and highest paying jobs in the, in the world right now. Um, <clears throat> if you guys know, computer science uh, is really a field that needs a lot of people to to really graduate from that, um, with that major, and they'll make a lot more money, 40% more than any other uh, graduating uh, uh, topic. So again, when we think about our students, low-income students don't have equitable opportunities to per pursue CS and STEM careers. Right now, there's about 4% of black and Latinos in the STEAM uh, field. So there's really a discrepancy between um, education and what opportunities students have. So when we think about how can we prepare students for these fields, there's really a need to, to really focus in on the math and science in the STEM and STEAM. And really, we have less proficiency with our African Americans and our Latinos in these, uh, in these subjects. So we've invested a lot of time and energy uh, really making sure that our students have growth in these areas. 
and really we will know that our parents want their kids to have these opportunities in the STEAM field. So again, nine out of 10 parents want their students to learn these um, skills. So in Compton, we really worked on closing that opportunity gap and really focus on equity. We made sure that every student way before the pandemic had one-to-one -one access. We went after those partnerships. We partnered with Apple. We got the Connect Data grant in 2015 that gave four schools one-to-one -one iPads. Then we partnered with a Verizon Innovative Learning grant and that got 12 of our schools with one-to-one -one iPads. And then we were able to resource the rest of our students with uh, computers and iPads. So when the pandemic hit, within 10 days, we had every student up and running at home. And all of those iPads had uh, built-in wireless. So then we were able to uh, make sure that our students who didn't have uh, Wi-Fi at home were able to access uh, the internet. So when we think about our core beliefs in STEAM, we really think about um, what we need to do. We really know that we need to build uh, this, this education early. So we really start with our preschool kids. We also know that we need to have students see people in the field that look like them. So we do a lot of community outreach with business and partnerships to make sure that they come in and work with our students. Um, we know that we have rigorous STEAM core instruction. We need to make sure that our students are really uh, able to access that early. And in Los Angeles, we can't forget that we need to put the A in arts. We have a lot of audio and visual and video production right next door to us in Compton. So I wanted to just show you what STEAM in action looks like in our district. So I thought I'd just show you a little clip of this. Let's hope the sound Hello works. Hello from Bunch Middle School in Compton, California. Our tech team are exploring environmental issues in our community. And we are trying to create measurable solutions. Here are some ideas that we've been working on. The problem that my group is trying to solve is environment issues, which is for me, um, in energy. In Compton, we have a lot of traffic and cars and we use them to like all the time for attention. My project is about a recycling robot that goes to people's houses to collect kids. So I'm learning about the carbon footprint and my goal is to have it so that everyone in Compton has a lower carbon footprint than they have now. I think collecting data and I found out that in my family, our carbon footprint is above average which isn't good. We have a lot of visits where there's, there's not that many nice and organic food stores. There's liquor markets, a food market store right there. They have junk food, soda, chips. We're going to take the project back to our community and we're going to inform people about what food deserts are because some people don't actually recognize that we are living in a food desert. My project is about illegal dumping. Sometimes when I'm walking on the sidewalk, there's like just trash. People actually dump like has these things, like for example the wood pattern, they have nails, they split them open and you walk, you could walk, you never know where the nail is, you can step on it. It's important for me because it involves me and my family and it feels great to help other people fix this problem as well because it also affects them. It's important for students and content to know so that we can teach others on how to be eco-friendly so that we can do it ourselves, make sure the world is a better place. So our kids are really um, are are using technology to solve real world problems, and that is very important to us. We have PBL in every one of our schools, so we use technology in conjunction with PBL. We also, like I said, we have our preschool programs. We work with a Boeing. Uh, we b provide computational thinking, we have a STEM academy, and we even have robotics starting in pre-K. In our K-5 program, we again have every student with Project Lead the Way. We have nine dots coding, K-5 coding for every student so that they're exposed to coding between the uh, fifth, uh, K through fifth grade. And we also have COOL. Cool is Compton Unified 
uh, eSports League. So they are starting gaming and competition when they're in elementary school. We also have our FLL, our VEX Robotics, and our Girls Who Code um, after school. For our 6-8, we have MESA, we have Project Lead the Way, we have our computer science program, and again, we have eSports. Um, we have a great after school robotics program and eSports program. So we do integrate eSports both into the school day, but we also have competitions after school. Doesn't Compton seem like a fun place to go? <laughs> uh, again, ninth grade, ninth through 12th, we have our VEX, our, our uh, VEX program, we have our first tech challenge, we have Solar Cup, and we have a lot of uh, new programs. We have a gaming pathway, we have a computer science pathway, so that everything that we're doing uh, from K or pre-K to 12 is aligned. Michelle, question. Mm -hmm. we've, heard other, we, we've heard other superintendents say on the road that they require you to keep up a certain grade average in all your other subjects in order to be on the on e team. Yes, yes. You, you do have to have a three point, uh, I think it's a two point five, I'm not sure. But we also have invested in a lot of infrastructure and spaces for learning. So for example, here we have our maker space where students can innovate and use the, uh, use the engineering process and design thinking. Here is another space. We have wearable technology space. This is where we use the engineering process and we use design thinking to solve problems. So they created gloves that would uh, light up if your insulin was, uh, was too high. They've created all these things, but they get to prototype. Many people walk into this lab and they go, oh, it's a sewing lab. <laughs> and we're like, oh no, this is an entrepreneur class. They are innovating to solve problems. They were creating a new helmet for football to help um, with the concussions and to monitor what was going on. So they're really thinking and solving real world problems here. And then we have our Verizon Innovative Steam Labs. These are great. Through our partnership with Verizon, which is very important for that school to business partnership, um, we were able to get seven of these labs. Hub City is what Compton is called, if you don't know. But we're going to take a little tour of this lab right now. I wanted to show you inside. Uh, this is our this is a tour of our one of our other labs, but they have VR, they have AR. Everyone is equipped from Verizon with 5G network. Is that impressive or what? Yes. I, I have a quick question. I, okay, yes. Um, how does this, like this is beautiful. I'd love to see um, students doing this type of work. How is it translating with respect to your data, with your math and your science skills? Are you gonna get to that? Uh, well, uh, I'll talk to that in a moment, yes. Um, but these are great labs and they do amazing uh, work that we tie into our, our standards-based, project-based uh, learning. So I, that's my expertise is, is project-based learning and then I make it standards-based too. So again, here they're doing AR, they're doing VR. Uh, because it was such a success, we were able to take some of that money, ESSER funds, and we built every school a, a STEAM lab. So every school now has a STEAM lab. It's not as fancy as a Verizon lab, but it has all the same equipment. So this was in EdTech Magazine this uh, month. This is life-size learning with AR and VR. Our kids don't only uh, use AR and VR to experience, but they create it. They use co-spaces to create AR and VR experiences. And this is just a magazine article that was in EdTech Magazine last month. And this is a $33 billion industry. So our kids are leaving Compton prepared to get jobs in these industries. We also have our eSports uh, lab and gaming pathway. Now, why would you want kids to play video games? 
Well, it's a $365 billion industry, and guess where it resides? Southern California. Southern California, yeah. So this is our state-of-the-art uh, eSports lab. Would you guys like to see it in action? Just say yes. It makes our life easier. So this was built by one of our partners. And this is um, our lab. And our kids actually compete here. But they learn about the business of gaming. Does anybody know what a shoutcaster is? Shoutcaster? is like a highly paid analyst. They, they call the game. And there's many productions. We have a production site here where they can produce so that they can put it on Twitch and Discord. So pretty cool, huh? So Adele, you may want to give a shout out to Darren on that. <laughs> So again, when you're thinking about this, it's truly, what is the industry? $365 billion. Our kids have to be prepared to that. The gaming portion or playing is like the carrot. Then we're teaching the animation. We have our gaming pathway in high school so that they leave prepared for that. We have our audio and video production so they can go into the gaming audio and video production. And that's where you're putting the A into steam. So what does this look like? This is our cool league. It's Compton Unified Esports League. And this is uh, one of our competitions. I'll just show you Today's for a second. Of the Compton Unified School District's Esports Tournament, which the Chargers are a presenting sponsor of. These kids have been going through a two-month esports tournament, but also learning about STEM curriculum and experiencing video game design career opportunities. The winning team of the championship is going to get a prize package, VIP tickets to the Chargers game. They're going to get a trophy. They're going to have lunch with a game designer. And then they're going to go to college that has a gaming arena and meet the players and the professors that are really talking about how they're building a, a program. to expand the horizon of, of students within our district that are interested in technology by exposing them to something that they like and to expose the opportunities that exist in the build of esports. So we appreciate all. So again, it's really cool to see our kids getting into this. And you know, I love sports. I was an athlete in college, but I know I'm not going to the Olympics. I know I'm not going to make a living out of this, but with all of our different programs, we know that our kids are going to be able to leave Compton and be college and career ready in these industries. Today's the championship. Of we also had the Project Lead the Way Teacher of the Year, National Teacher of the Year in Compton uh, in 2019. So I, we really are, are investing in the infrastructure. We're making those uh, partnerships that are necessary to be successful. We also believe that we have to make sure that our community is aware of the importance of these, uh, these programs. So we involve our partners and our community in our events. We have Computer Science Week. So during this week, every kid codes, every kid um, gets exposed to different activities that we have. We have uh, every kid gets an iCoded sticker. What is your superpower? We have the Hour of uh, Code. And we also have a Computer Science Expo where we we bring in our partners to showcase what they do in, um, at, their, at their tech job, programming and coding. We have Anthony Mays, who is an alumni of Compton and works as a one percenter in, um, in uh, Google as an engineer, as a programmer. So again, CFES really should, uh, this isn't CFES, this is a computer science expo, really exposes our kids to those careers. We're here at the second annual computer science expo. 
Expo. This is a great opportunity for our K through 8 students to learn about the importance of computer science in their daily lives and to think about pursuing college and career opportunities in the fastest growing industry in the world. We have our high schools showcasing what they do in computer science to excite our kids to go to Compton High Schools. This is my first time being here. I had no idea what to expect. I am enjoying myself because I get to talk about our projects that we had in mind. We get to show our robots and I really like it here. This is a interesting and a fun experience for me. We are excited today to have companies such as Apple, Google, the Hacker Fund, and Nine Dots help bring technology and computer science alive for our students. We are very fortunate today to have Anthony Mays, a so again, we are constantly thinking of ways to expose our kids to computer science and to uh, STEAM fields. So again, you'll see that we, we really reach out to our partners. Minecraft, Microsoft, Google, Apple, uh, Project Lead the Way, Boeing. Boeing gives us all, gives us a lot of money to run these programs. So, Again, these are, are some of the ways we engage the, our, our partners and our Which community. Playgrounds? So we have our annual STEAM Fest. We haven't had it since 2019. I'm going to be uh, bringing it back this year, but this brings over 10,000 people from the community of Compton into a big party on the street, in the community center, and it really showcases everybody's, uh, every school's STEAM projects, and we have a theme this year, it's green, green STEAM, and what we'll be doing is having every school have a booth, but we also have all of our partners from UCI, Best Buy, Google, all of these people come together to the streets of Compton to bring that alive. So I'm just going to show a what minute of this. So My guys... name is Kyra and this is Dean Fest. So 10,000 people come to this event and it's really great. The whole community comes together. Here we are in the city of Compton at the Dollar Hyde Center and we have an opportunity to see the tremendous things that are happening in Compton Unified School District. Our students are here to demonstrate their skills in the area of STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. My name is Kyra and this is Dean Fest. which is George Washington Carver Elementary School. These are pictures of um, how the channels are formed, and these are my photos all day. Hello, my name is Kyra Molina, and I have a homemade EcoSafe air conditioner, which I made. I use some dry ice, some ice, and some water, a fan. Air conditioners go Freon in them, and it's bad for your insides or your body and this would probably be cheaper and it's probably safer than having a, a regular air conditioner. So again, we are constantly engaging our partners, engaging our community so that they know what we're doing and how they can support their kids. We have robotics competitions. Uh, we have summer STEAM camps. Anybody send their kids to summer STEAM camp? It's about $1,000 <laughs> to send your kid for a week. We have them free uh, for our students, and uh, they're always sold out. It's quite the, um, quite the activities they do, uh, creating app, Minecraft competitions, uh, creating videos. We have high school, school STEAM camps too. We also had an artificial intelligence camp that we ran with IBM. So 
they created a bot, and you guys all know about AI, right? Chat AI. So yeah, they're writing their essays now. But again, our kids are learning this during the summer, and they're actually getting scholarships to go to college for because they've learned these skills. So again, we are trying to provide close that opportunity gap for all of our students. So. During the school year, we also engage, I have about a minute, so I'm just gonna tell you a couple things. We also engage in district-wide competitions. We work with Apple to have an Apple design app challenge. So we have uh, that, that we work with Apple. We use uh, Minecraft to, to, and Scratch with the UN sustainability goals where the students will build um, uh, a Minecraft universe around a sustainability goal and then we have career exploration with we work with Verizon on this and during Black History Month we use we use Scratch to run a Black History coding um, activity <coughs> And then again, we have all of our robotics programs from uh, K to 12. So I know that's a lot, but I did want to just go back to what our priorities were. We really invested in um, equity and access. We really invested in our infrastructure our on and our ongoing professional development. And I'm going to answer your question about math and science. Right now, we have a huge focus on math. And anybody who knows Dr. Brawley, I think a couple ladies, he, that's his specialty. So he is, we are working very hard on our math. In eight of our schools, many people saw a dip during the pandemic. We actually, actually saw growth. So uh, that is one of our areas of focus. I really wanted you guys to be able to take this uh, bit.ly if you guys would like to learn more about our STEAM initiatives. And then um, my contact is right there.